As you know, I don't know if you can see this, but this is Jonathan Taylor Thomas. You can tell how I used to treat my posters back in the day before I learned not to treat my posters like this. Tape really destroyed the poster. And it, that's why you don't use tape anymore. You always use thumbtacks. Yes, it get, puts a little hole in your wall. But as long as you put the posters in the same holes, when you change them out, it's all good and potatoes. Because when I tried to get the tape off, it ripped the pages. And then the creases, if you crease it way too much, it starts to rip right up here. And instead of using clear tape, I use this tape that you can honestly see the tape. And just ruined it. And a big rip happened there. I don't know how that happened. It's just crazy. Let me pull up the poster so you can see it better and know what the fuck I'm talking about. Um, right there. Now, if, you, if I was to put a pin up, I would put one there and maybe there. I wouldn't put it right, right on his head. Because then you have this big hole in his head and that wouldn't be good. But, yeah. And then I ruined it by these kind of tapes here. And then that situation. I'm about to leave that. The other side, if you're curious, what it looks like. Because it's Devon Shaw. There's the top rip, you know, from the back. Because it's upside down. So that's how they did it back in the day in the magazines. Super Teen Magazine. Then, yeah, I ruined it by doing that. That. Yeah, I just ruined it. But now these days, I don't do that with my posters. So I learned my lesson from this poster. And hopefully you did too. I so hate when my friends tell me what to do in letters. Do this, do that. La, 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 la. Like, talk to me and shit. I'll do what I want. I don't even think I did her demands, to be honest. Because of that reason. But I don't remember. It was a high school. Usher in the house. Usher in the house. Usher, Usher, Usher! Can you see Usher? Can you see him? If not, sorry. My Usher. Usher poster from Papa Star. Hillary, Hillary Duff. It's Hillary, Hillary Duff. Hillary, Hillary Duff. Okay, here's something that I don't know if you guys have this problem. Where you have a poster of somebody you used to like. Like, I used to be a big fan of Ashton Kutcher from, you know, punk and uh, the 70s show. But then the 70s show got annoying after a while. They didn't know when to end the series. Sometimes when a show is really good, you don't want to end the series. But then when the show starts going downhill, that's when you know you need to end the series. Anyways, I used to like Ashton Kutcher, but I don't much anymore. But yet I have his picture poster. I'm still a fan, but not a fan. Like, I don't hate him, but I don't care to have his post. Like, if, let's say I go to Walmart or something and his poster's up there. I wouldn't give two shits. I was just like, oh, it's Ashton Kutcher, and move on. I wouldn't try to take a photo of it, I wouldn't try to buy it, nothing. But since I got this in a magazine, the Pop Star magazine, one of my favorite magazines back in the day, I don't know what to do. I can't sell it online because it's, unless I do, unless I have a P.O. box or I do like an Amazon or a eBay type thing. I can't just, because it's not safe to give out your address online with your last name. And in case you're wondering who's on the back, it's Good Charlotte. Not a fan of Good Charlotte. Never have been, never will be. So I don't know what to do with this. I'm probably going to take a picture of it and put it on my... I haven't decided what I'm going to do with these posters yet, but I'm going to put them on... Which group page I'm going to put it on? Do I put it on... My famous peoples, or do I put it on my white cats one? I haven't decided, but make sure you follow either one to figure it out. Mm, yeah, and why is Jessica Simpson on there? 
Oh, Drake Bell. I'm a fan of Drake Bell. I'm Drake and Josh. I was like, Jessica Simpson, I'm not a fan of that bitch. She annoys the hell out of me. Is it tuna or is it, is it chicken or is it fish? How that saying goes. There's Usher there. This is like an October 20, 2004 calendar that I didn't want to ruin. Tear up, so I kept it like this. Pretty dope dope. I have pictures of its places. And Ashley Simpson. I, I love Ashley Simpson. See, here's another one. Oh, there's K oh, that's Carrie Underwood. I'll keep it for Carrie Underwood for sure, for sure. Her autograph. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she's from Idol. Oh, I got his too. See, I used to be a fan of Ryan because he was dating Ashley Simpson. And there was a Ashley Simpson reality show. But now they're broken up. And now I'm realizing... I didn't really like him. I only liked him because of Ashley dating him. But really, I don't like him. But now that I see who's on the back, definitely a keeper. And I, I don't get rid of my posters. If I don't like them, I tear them up, throw them away. And I know you guys are going to be like, why do you do that? That ruins them. That's not fair. Blah, 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 blah. Well, guess what? He's from Immature. And from he, Romeo, um also from sister sister that's his real name but he, his nickname's romeo um because i worked hard to get these posters why should you just come and get these posters easily at a goodwill fuck that and plus goodwill might just throw them away anyways so i'll do it for them but i'll tear it up why do I tear it up? Because I don't want someone going through my trash, fighting him and go, ooh, gold mine. Nah. Nah, 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 nah. I don't know who the fuck that is. Not a fan. Then you got Kelly Clarkson. That's the back of it. From M Magazine. And then there's a bunch more to go through. So yeah, if you want me to do a slideshow of all the posters I have, have done so far right now, let me know in the comments down below, and if I find some old, old pictures that I took of other posters that I have from in the past, I can put them in the slideshow too. Just know that if I do, you need to give me a song title to use for it, because you can't just have a slideshow with nothing playing. That would be boring. I mean, I could put in the description, make sure you play this song while you're watching the slideshow because who's y'all gonna take the time to do that shit so yeah anyways I just wanted to make this quick video about what do you do with posters of people you, you liked back in the day but then you grew up and grew out of liking them you still like them but not as much as before I used to back in the 90s sell my posters to get posters if you had this like I would do a trade if you have this poster I'll take I'll give you this poster and then to go to find out kids was cheating yes they were cheating and they were just printing off copies of their posters or they would google their poster and then they would print those out and give them to me so my rule was, this is what it's going to be like. This is what I'm going to do. You send yours first, then I'll send mine. And it's like, you have to trust the person. And I'm like, you can trust me. Send yours first, so I can see if it's legit. If it's legit, I'll send you mine. And because I didn't want to send mine out. Because one time, I sent my poster out, thought it was legit. And the girl sent hers out and it wasn't legit. They were copies from a computer that I could have gotten on my own. And I was pissed. She's like, well, you didn't say what form you wanted the posters in. Like, really, bitch? Just like this one girl who didn't ask first. We did a trade-off with um, a CD. It was a CD trade-off. And this girl was supposed to send me a CD 
with a bunch of shows on it. But she didn't, and then I sent her bug juice because I was the only one in the world, and I probably still am, that has bug juice, Wazzy, Highlander, and Wazzy on DVD, and nobody else does. So she was like, I want that DVD, and I'll do whatever it takes to get it. So she sent me a bunch of shows, and I said, hey, these shows ain't working in my DVD player. She's like, oh, you have to do this, this, and this to get it to work. And I said, I don't have that type of programs. I don't have that stuff. I can't do that. And she's like, oh, I thought you did. And instead of saying, I'll send you a replacement, she says, well, I'm sorry. The reason why I did it this way instead of a DVD form is because I didn't want, I didn't want to, take because if I did it DVD form it would take forever to do it so I wanted to do it this way because it was faster which means your lazy ass didn't want to take the time so if your lazy ass didn't want to take the time then your lazy ass didn't want to um, to get bug juice because I took my fucking sweet ass time to do bug juice for you and then you do me like this that's fucked up. So that's why I always say, you put, give me the product first. And, I mean, I can still play them in a portable DVD player. But that's it. I can't, I can only play some of the files. Not all of them. That's why before you do something, if you're going to do a trade-off with someone, make sure they have the same stuff you have. Because not everybody's going to have the same items as you. And the same editor and the same, for you know, not everyone's going to have Photoshop. Not everyone's going to have the same editor as you. No one's going to have the same programs as you. You may have that program, doesn't mean they may. And just because you know a lot about computers and want to do it an easier, faster way, doesn't mean they know a lot about computers and can do it easier and faster that way too. And can convert them over when your ass could have done it to begin with so always ask first if I say no then you think to yourself is it worth it and plus I didn't ask for all the shows I said I like all these shows so out of all these shows you pick three and send them to me she got she sent the whole list when I said only three so that's her fault and I tried doing money and told him you send me a check and I will give you the item but I won't cash the check until you get the item so let me know when you get the item I didn't know about the whole they could have canceled the check right when they got the item they, that was never a problem to me but I would cash a check early right when I'd get it after I figured that out and they would be like why didn't you why did you cash the check I didn't get the items yet and I'm like because I want to make sure you don't cancel the check when you get the item so and I would even make a video saying here's your package here's your items this is what they look like I'm putting them into the package here's me sending them to the mailbox and I'd post it on YouTube or I would send it to them privately in an email that way they know I'm not scamming them. But now these days you get scammed a lot and people take your things and a lot of bad things happen so you can't do trades like that anymore. So the posters I did keep, I just took them and threw them away or gave them to people that I know like them. And sorry you can cringe all you want on that had to anyways i'll talk to y'all later